Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. With me right now is Raphael Katikian. Raphael, it is so nice to see you out here, especially coming off of your victory at Club UNF. Man, tell us about what happened in your fight at Club UNF. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I was preparing for this finish. Uh, my brother and my sparring partner, Arthur Arutsunian, did the same rear naked choke in his fight in, in the beginning of the month. So it tells how good is uh, grappling in our gym KD MMA. Yeah, that's really cool. I love to hear that. Uh, you know, to be able to get this victory, and it was your first fight with UNF as well, right? Yes, it was my debut. Oh, how did that feel to get your debut win? Uh, it was uh, very good. Uh, it was my first fight in uh, United States. I just moved here from Armenia. So uh, who didn't know me, you know me now. So. <laughs> yes. So how different was it fighting in Armenia and then fighting here in the United States? Uh, here, uh, it's uh, a lot of uh, more show and uh, it's good uh, to fight here. Well, were you nervous just given like the, were you nervous about your fight or were you nervous about it being in the United States? Did that impact or change how you felt heading into the fight? No, I was confident. I was ready for three rounds and uh, I had a very good training camp. So I was ready for, for three rounds. Yeah. So, you know, I do want to talk a little bit about your time in Armenia. Tell us about how you got started with mixed martial arts over there and what basically uh, inspired you to pursue a career in mixed martial arts. Um, uh, when I uh, was starting MMA, my uh, parents uh, didn't want me to fight. Yeah, but uh, I went to the gym. I didn't tell them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but uh, when they uh, saw me that uh, I l uh, really uh, love this sport, they uh, uh, helped me to train and uh, with everything. So now uh, they see my fights and uh, they are happy that I'm winning. Did you ever get in trouble at all with your parents? Were they mad when they found out? What was their initial reaction before they saw that you were really passionate about the sport? Yeah, sometimes uh, when I was going home from training or competition, uh, like when I had a black eye, mm -hmm. uh, my mother was like, uh, why, uh, why you go to train or something like that? But uh, she's always uh, helping me to uh, compete or uh, she says, go and win. She, and, and she says, uh, if you're going to lose, don't go there. Like something like this. It's very inspiring. Your mom has some really good points. If you're going to do it, you best do it the best and you best win. I love your mom. Your mom's got some great advice. All right. So my last question for you is, you know, for you, what would you say is the thing that motivates you the most uh, to, you know, go out there and fight and risk your life every time you're out there and really go for it? Um, what motivates you the most? I'm just love this sport. Uh, I'm different. I uh, I, I was born for this. I enjoy training. I can uh, train like every day, all day. Uh, and if I had like a good sponsorship, I can fight like even every month. Yeah. All right. I love it, man. Congratulations on getting your first fight here in the United States and it being a W, a, a victory for you. Uh, thank you so much to Raphael for chatting with me today. And I will let you guys go and enjoy the next video. We'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone.